Hello champions, welcome to the channel. It's another day and as always another opportunity. Today's opportunity is from the United States and this is the Washington State University. We are in charge of opportunities, fully funded scholarship. So at this particular university, WSU, as it is called, as long as soon as you applied for you know admission, you are automatically considered for a fully funded scholarship. All right, you are automatically considered for scholarship. So this is the home page, a very beautiful home page. If you are in this channel for the first time, I'm Joseph C and this is Joseph C Concept. In here, I talk about scholarship opportunities, lifestyle of an international student, and self improvement tips. All right, so if that sounds amazing to you, do ensure to subscribe to the channel and also like this particular video so without wasting time the link to the button is going to be in the description section all you need to do is just tap in there and it's going to take you right to this particular home page so you can see we have like the home the about academics admission research athletics and campuses so we're just going to tap in here academics and it's going to take you right to this particular home page all right it's going to take us to this particular home page as you can see this is award for international students so from the highlighted here, you can see international students are automatically considered for scholarship upon admission to wsu all right the washington state university high achieving international students are guaranteed to receive the international academic award so which is like really amazing you don't need to send in another application again for scholarship as soon as you send in your admission you are automatically considered all right you are automatically considered as you can see here for scholarship so we are going to visit the office of international programs and find out more about their scholarship assistance of becoming both the incoming and current international students and also to be considered for this particular opportunity please keep in mind that the application deadline is the 31st all right of january so ensure you apply as soon as possible if you do have any further questions about this particular opportunity don't hesitate to drop them in the comment section i'll be happy to respond as soon as i can or you can reach me on instagram at joseph c concept all right the link will be in the description section as well so we can talk one on one for further assistance so if you just have in this visit the office of international relations or international programs it's going to take you right to this particular home page all right so we can just close this particular cap and you see wsu international this is the scholarships and funding all right home page so international students are what automatically considered for scholarship upon admission to wsu all right you may also be eligible for different kind of awards from this particular university so apart from this particular award there are other different kind of awards so what you need to do now is like you just scroll down but please keep in mind the deadline is the 31st all right of january so keep that in mind so to be sure of the requirements you need to like check the requirements of the program and also the deadline for all scholarship all right there are tons of scholarship that are available which we are going to check shortly but precisely i'm talking about the international academic award so let's scroll down a little and you see so for international program all right for like international program this is, is like you are automatically giving like the award scholarship to qualify students okay but depending if you are what offered admission at the university so like for freshman award like you want to renew for another three years it's also like possible available to students who have less than one year of college credits all right and also transfer award if you are like transferring from another institution there's also possibility for you they are also available to students who have an at least one year that is like 27 semester hour all right which you can like transfer so like for the different levels let's say level one this is like four thousand all right four thousand dollar per academic year for the tuition fee all right like there's a waiver for you and it's offered to students with like a gpa cgp of like 3.60 or higher so from 3.60 four points and above then yeah you can get up to like four thousand dollar all right per like the tuition fee waiver and secondly you have like two thousand dollars as well for the academic year tuition waiver which is like really amazing and the cgpa is like 3.30 to 3.59 so if you are not fortunate to get the 
four thousand dollar then it's not bad you can see going for the two thousand if you have like a gp of 3.30 to 3.59 as you can see as they like mentioned here all right so this is the G cgpa so the international academic like for it to be automatically considered you have some requirements you need to like meet all right so firstly you have to like maintain all right you have to like maintain a cgpa of 3.2 all right you have to like maintain this cgpa of 3.2 by the end of the spring semester so this is like for default so you have to like maintain for the spring semester and secondly you have like to like maintain again 12 credits all right each semester to complete 24 semester by credits by the end of the spring semester as well all right please ensure to subscribe to the channel and lastly you have to like maintain like non resident degree seeking student status so you must be what an international student all right you must be an international student if you want this particular award so if you like scroll down again you have the international year one progress all right the progression award as well which is like a four thousand so the link will be in the description section you can just read more about this and these are other opportunities as well which you can read about like the international merit award which is like two thousand waiver and these are the eligibility criteria as well so you can see how to apply so to apply you need to like submit the following a personal letter all right describing the service of community or extraordinary work or achievement that you have done so this is what i've always been saying like your involvement and participation in community project is very important when it comes to like scholarship not all about like having you know amazing results i have like honors i have like this and all that so you need to uh, like involve in terms of community involvement and you participate in community project as well so also you need like a letter of recommendation as well from your professor any like a teacher or so a lecturer all right so you can see here again letter of recommendation from an advisor a professor or an official program administrator confirming your service or achievement so if you have like this you can send in the application so guys basically like this is it so if we move down a little again for the application requirements they are very straightforward you can see all you need is like you maintain a CGPA of 3.6, all right, at WSU. The personal statement, letter of recommendation, and unusual service are like also like this and other extra work. So the deadline is like the 31st of this month, January, all right. So don't forget that. So the link will be in the description section. I don't want to make this particular opportunity to be long. All right, so you just take the decision section, you get all these other areas, these are all other opportunities as well. So, like this is a general scholarship application. So you just tab in, you see apply. So if you just tab in here, you are gonna see if you're applying for the first time at this university, all you need to do is like you just tab in here, create a WSU application account, or you log in with your Google, Facebook, or LinkedIn account. So what our advice is like you create an account, all right, for the first time. If you are like applying again, you are returning, you just log in to your portal and you send in another application. So when you just tap in this particular link, you just tap in here. Let's hold on a little. You just tap in this here. Then this is the registration. From this side, you are going to create your portal, your email address. Ensure before you enter your email address, you know the password. All right. They are going to send you a link for you to proceed further with the application process. And also like your first name your last name as it is indicated on the passport book please okay and your date of birth and you just have been continue with the process but before we go guys i have an amazing news for you so currently i have like a website so you can just like check in my website www.josephcconcept.com for like how to write different things like cv recommendation letter and other things and also like self-improvement tips and other things i upload like daily opportunities at this particular website so the link again will be in the description section it's like totally free just check in there for daily updates the thing is i'm not going to be uploading everything all right on my youtube channel but if you check the website there are a lot of things that you are going to benefit okay so before we go let's check out the programs that are being offered at this university it is both for undergrad and postgrad all you need to do you are going to explore the major and minors so you just like select here your particular area you have arts 
you have biological and environmental sciences, business, communication, and let's say we select agriculture. So if we just select agriculture, it's going to show us the program that are being offered, the majors that are being offered, all right, under this particular category. So as you can see for agriculture, we have like the varieties of program that are being offered. You see the majors, agriculture and food business economics, agriculture and food system, agriculture and biology, agriculture and education, animal sciences, data analytics, and a whole lot more. So guys, basically like, this is it for the Washington State University. I believe like this is an opportunity to grab. If you have any further question, please don't hesitate. Go them in the comment section. I will respond as soon as possible. Thanks so much. Peace and light. See you on my next video.